Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanzi. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, or entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And I will see them. And today, we got a pretty interesting show for you guys. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, last week, Friday, a list was made public of about 20 people uh, that was let go from ESPN. Now, when the names started trickling out, we actually did a live about it. In the first live we did, we were at, we were all going through the shock where we found out that, w- that one of the marquee names were, or some of the marquee names were Jalen Rose and, of course, Jeff Van Gundy, right? And then subsequently we found out Max Kellerman and others were let go. But when I heard the Jeff Van Gundy news, I was taken aback, like the majority of people. Why? Number one, Jeff Van Gundy has been covering NBA games for about well over 15 years now. Uh, commentating on commenting on games. Number two, he always gives an excellent analysis. He always he always covers the game from an angle that pretty much no one does. You can view Jeff Van Gundy kind of like the Charles Barkley of um, live live game live game coverages. Why? Because Jeff Van Gundy would never take the PC uh, position. He would talk in a you know in a very candid way especially when he was talking about things he didn't like uh jeff van gundy was always highly critical of the fact that the officiating was uneven um he didn't like the fact that players were being rewarded for flopping and he always basically i guess kept the nba honest right because he was always talking about them uh you know from a critical angle but i believe he was always doing it in the best interest of the game Right. It wasn't like as if he was just hypercritical of the NBA for no good reason. As you guys know, Jeff Van Gundy used to be a coach, coached the New York Knicks and also coached, uh, what is it, the Houston um, Rockets. But nevertheless, uh, he was let go by ESPN, a move that surprised a lot of us. Right. So I thought that this information had pretty much simmered down until yesterday. I came across some information suggesting that um, Commissioner Adam Silver's, um, the rumor is, that he was the one that that basically encouraged uh, or forced ESPN to let go of Jeff Van Gundy. Now, where's the source? The source is from Chris Mad Dog Russo, funny enough, who is actually a weekly contributor on ESPN First Take. He's usually there every Wednesday. So we came across, um, uh, you know, what is it, an audio, but we can't really play the audio because... Um, It belongs to someone else. So what we want to do is want to read from an article from the New York Post. Basically, this article starts off with the headline, Chris Mad Dog Russo thinks Adam Silvers ordered Jeff Van Gundy's ESPN departure. The Mad Dog has no shortage of theories about the recent wave of ESPN layoffs that have rocked the sports world. Chris Russo, who signed a one-year contract with ESPN early this year to continue appearing on uh, First Take, believes the NBA League office and and Commissioner Adam Silvers specifically ordered the layoff of a longtime lead analyst, Jeff Van Gundy, because of his blunt and sometimes controversial NBA opinions. I can't fathom the idea that ESPN uh, in these layoffs would fire Jeff Van Gundy, Russo said on his Sirius XM podcast, Mad Dog's Daily Bite on Tuesday. You're not going to convince me that ESPN and Disney boss Bob Iger woke up in the last two weeks, looked at the budget sheet and said, we've got to fire Van Gundy because we got to save some money. If that's the case, fire Mark Jackson. ESPN will never admit it. They're going to say it's our call. Nonsense. Why would you get rid of a great team? That team is it, that team is a great team with Mike Breen. You're not going to convince me that the team that everybody likes Nobody, nobody doesn't like that team. The article then continues on. Van Gundy, 61, has been with ESPN for 16 years, calling the NBA Finals in a popular trio with Mike Breen and Mark Jackson. That leads me to the conclusion that someone in the league's office must have told ESPN, I want Van Gundy out, Russo said. We all know he's biting. We all know he gets on the officials. We all know he doesn't hold back with his NBA opinions. So if you're asking me, little talk show host who may not know a thing, this is just my opinion. 
Silver, Silver is the one who fired Van Gundy. Silver told ESPN, I want him out. So that's what the uh, that's what the article has to say there. The question is, do we know this is true? Well, obviously, we don't know. Because at the very end of his statement, he said, this is just my opinion. So we're going off of a hunch, but a little bit more than that. Why? Because number one, Chris Mad Dog Russo has been in the sports business for decades. Number two, he is privy to a lot of information that you and I are not privy to. Number three, he is currently partially employed by ESPN, which means that he knows a lot about some of the things that happen behind the curtains in terms of, uh, you know, the way things are done at ESPN. If anything happens, he'll probably be he'll probably be amongst the, the, the first people to hear. And also, you got to factor in the human aspect. Yeah, these people go to work and they work for these networks, but they're also people, the human beings, right? If you work, if you have a group of colleagues, yeah, you guys may work together, but you guys are also, you may, you may also be friendly outside of work and people talk. They talk about what's happening in the office. They talk about what they're hearing. So I don't think that uh, Mad Dog just came to the conclusion all on his own. I think it's probably based on things that he's, you know, uh, conversations that he's had with people, things that he's heard. But he said he doesn't have a definitive source that said, OK, this is exactly what happened. He's just basing it off of, um, you know, what he thinks and obviously what he may know. But in terms of the Jeff Van Gundy firing, as I said before, and I'm going to reiterate it again, I was absolutely surprised by that. Why would you fire Jeff Van Gundy? He was actually really good. And a lot of people are still asking this question. You, you fired Jeff Van Gundy, yet you kept Malika Andrews. And no one really knows what's going on at ESPN. No one really, really knows. Um, it's like they got rid of the people that um people like and there are a lot of people a litany of people that i just i just don't remember the entire list uh, of, of people that were fired um but they got rid of a lot of people that um viewers believe brought value to the network and then they kept people where a lot of us are sitting here scratching our heads like what's that about now obviously there's an easy out which is hey we got to cut the fat we got a lower cost but at the same time when you when you're letting go of some of these people and then you look at some of the people that remained um, it causes a lot of people to scratch their heads like, OK, so what's the real motivation behind some of these decisions? And to me, I think that Jeff Van Gundy brought so much value uh, to the position that he held at ESPN for those 16 years. And to me, I'm I just can't believe that they got rid of him because, yes, he has some strong opinions. Are you telling me he's not a, ha a lot allowed to have some strong opinions? And to be quite frank with you, I think Jeff Van Gundy was saying a lot of the things that some people felt people got tired of the flopping. People got tired of the BS. And I think he represented um an opinion that a lot of people held so you're telling me he's not allowed to have that opinion he wasn't slandering the league i don't believe he was slandering the nba he just had some strong opinions and i think he should have the right to voice them as long as he's not going up there making allegations and saying outlandish things he should have the right to be able to, be able to voice his opinion so what i want to know from you guys what do you think about what chris mad dog russo said do you think there's any truth to it and ultimately what do you feel about espn letting go of jeff, jeff van gundy do you think it was the right move to do or do you think they should have found a way to retain him whatever you guys think Leave your thoughts in the comments and we catch you on the next show.